What's going on everyone, Tenna here, and today in this video, we're gonna be unboxing Mona figure from Genshin Impact. And this figure was made by Wonderful Works. They're rather one of the newer company when it comes to figures, so they had been criticized for their quality, but I'm pretty sure for Genshin Impact, they probably did a good job. For those of you guys who doesn't know who Mona is, she had one of the most unique outfit in Genshin Impact, and she was in the standard banner, so she had been around for about two years and a couple of months. She has this unique skill kit that works on every element, so she's being used in a lot of scam showcases. Hi, my name is Tenha, and I mostly cover Genshin Impact related contents on my channel. So if you like this kind of contents, or if you'd like to watch Genshin related videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel with a large setting on, and let's get down to it right away. Oh my god, these boxes. Like every time I buy figures, I always get surprised how much stuff they put in here. I purchased this Mona figure from Japanese shop. It was probably the cheapest, but also they made sure that I get it really fast. Although it took me a couple of weeks. I was waiting for this so long. So we have the Mona figure right here. As you can see on the side, you will see her preview. And then at the back of the box, you will see what is so important about this figure. Mm. Let's wear some protections. It feels like they have designed this box so that you can put Mona in there for the display, which I'm not so sure because like this box doesn't feel so premium. Okay, you guys ready? I honestly don't know what to do when I open up figures because they look amazing. I had to pay about $150 for this figure and the quality of this figure is absolutely stunning. We have the little stand here and this thing right here is supposed to show after when you sprint with Mona and you get out of the sprint, you can see that this water element is showing up, right? It's very, very nice. When it comes to details of those, I would say water element. It looks a little off, but I mean, it would probably look good under the lights, right? And then we have Mona here. Okay, carefully I'll remove those vinyls. <gasps> this part is... This part seems very, very weak. Oh my god, I hope I don't break it. Oh my god, where do I need to hold you? Okay, we, we did it, we did it. So the details in the hair part is really nice and they're a little flexible. So I'm pretty sure you can't bend this in 90 degrees, but kind of as a realistic aspect, or should I say it looks more natural this way? Because imagine if this hair was made with plastic. And what I want to know is that the details of those hair, it just definitely looks like it was made with some kind of a wire or something. If you see this part, the hair part looks little disappointing in my eyes. I don't know anything about the figures yet. This is the second figure I bought, so I could be wrong. This could be like the high quality stuff, but definitely in my eyes, looks a little underwhelming. But the elements on her body is really, really nice. You can see her rib cage here, the belly button and her tights, her little symbol on her thigh, the thing that wraps around her legs and then the little bump here, right? It makes things more realistic. And her clothes part needs to be thick so that it stays in shape, right? Oh my god. They have described the colors really, really well. So there's the blue part outside and there's a red part inside. And both of the parts looks very nice. The shadings on it looks top notch. I guess I didn't really have to worry about, you know, Wonderful Works being the new figure company. Besides the hair, I would like to say that this is very nice. Her hat details. It looks like the hat from the Black Magician Girl. <laughs> Anyways, there's a little ribbon. It looks also nice, the details of it. Very good. Let me see if I can assemble this together. I am so worried if I would break this. I would cry. I would literally cry. I had to wait so long for this figure.
let's try putting her in this box and see how it looks like. Quite interesting, because if you can look at it inside, it looks like they want you to put it in there. How does it look? I don't think it looks good because there's like reflections because this front panel is made out of thin plastic, cheap plastic, I would say. It would be so much better if you go for like a stand or a decoration box. The details on this figure is very, very stunning. Her face, as you can see, in whichever angle you look at her from, you can see that she came out from Genshin Impact right away. The rib cage, her cape, belly button, thigh details, and then the water particles. Overall, I'm very happy with how much I have spent for this figure. Everything looks straightforward. We have seen some quality gradations on the figure. And it is not like the figure is just standing like this, you know. It looks like she's in the battle. She's using sprints, she gets out, and then she's about to use her ulti. One thing is missing on this figure though. We're missing her weapon, right? It's gonna be really hard for figure companies to give her the weapon because if you make her hold the book, then it would look weird because usually in Genshin Impact, it floats around. I know that there's another Mona figure where there's like a little hole in the middle so that you can just put like books on top of it. I don't really like those Figma figures where you can see the joints. I don't know, maybe it's just my preference because I have this. I don't think I'm gonna be opening that one. Overall, I really enjoyed unboxing this Mona figure. I guess this is the reason why people start spending money on those figures, right? Because if you think about it, this thing was like $150 to $200 USD. And in order for you to get a 5 star in game, it could be more expensive than that. So if you were to go for a gacha, you can just kind of go for this kind of figures, you know, for collectives. And even you can sell them back if you need money, right? Details on this figure is absolutely stunning, except the hair. Like, I don't know how they missed that. Feels bad, man. Could have been better. Alright, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And let me know in the comment section how I can improve this camera angles, the camera works that I do. Honestly, I've been spending a lot of time studying about the zebra patterns, the exposures, aperture, ISOs. So you guys will have better experience watching my videos, right? I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. I wonder if you guys like Pokemon. I have a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection in my hand, but I don't know what to do. Should I unbox it in the next video? Let me know.